Sitting in a river in the middle of winter, ice floating all around me, you might be shaking your head thinking I'm crazy. Well, let me explain the madness. It all began a couple winters ago when some migrating golden-eyed ducks caught my attention. Up until that point, I hadn't given much thought to duck photography, but those golden eyes were just so stunning. I set out to photograph them and was able to capture some images I was very pleased with. That's when the addiction took root in me. Since that day with those golden eyes, I take every opportunity I can to photograph ducks and other waterfowl. So that's how it came to be that I found myself sitting in a river over the span of four hours in the middle of winter, once again hoping to photograph golden eyed ducks. This particular morning was especially cold, temperatures hanging at only three degrees. I knew with these chilly temperatures that conditions on the river would be exceptional. Sure enough, as soon as the sun began to rise, a light mist appeared above the river, creating a magical atmosphere as I photographed a lone male goldeneye. After a time, more golden eyes flew in and started feeding near my blind. The clear, crisp air gave the morning light a particularly special glow. I don't know if I've ever seen such magnificent morning light. As the morning progressed, some mallards came in as the golden eyes moved off a bit. I was thrilled to photograph these beautiful ducks in that beautiful light. The warm light bringing out magnificent colors in their heads, necks, and wings. Soon, the golden eyes returned and I began to photograph them again. Wildlife photography is a process of constant learning, change, and improvement. The same goes for the images that we take. When I take a picture that I like, I analyze it and determine what I can improve on the next time a similar opportunity presents itself. That first winter, as I set out to photograph these beautiful ducks, my goal was to photograph one as it flapped its wings. I was able to do so but always wanted to give it another try with better light. As I sat in my blind this pristine morning, I got that opportunity again. 
and how amazing that opportunity was. What an amazing morning I have had out here with these ducks. These golden eyes are just absolutely beautiful. They're the species of duck that just got me absolutely addicted to waterfowl and duck photography. And they're just, they're so pretty. I always love photographing them. The uh, light this morning was absolutely gorgeous. I think this was my best session, I guess I could call it, um, <laughs> photographing uh, golden eyed ducks that I've ever had. The light was just beautiful. The conditions were amazing because it was so cold this morning and it is still cold this morning. The river was just iced over with this thin layer of ice when I got out here. And uh, as soon as the sun hit it, there started, uh, the steam started to rise and it was just absolutely beautiful. So the conditions to photograph these ducks was absolutely amazing. Just so, so much fun. I thought I'd do this video a little bit different this morning. Uh, kind of like a video I did a little while ago with some shorebirds uh, with the voiceover over the majority of the, the video. Yeah, just based on some of the feedback that I got from that video, I thought I would start to do more of a mixture of those types of videos, uh, do more voiceover stuff over some of the uh, wildlife footage that I get. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for following along. I'm just having such a good time out in my blind lately, in this floating blind. I think I've used it more this year already than I did all of last year. Uh, we've just finally gotten some moisture here in my area, and so a lot of the spots that I wasn't even able to visit last year because there was no water, I'm, I'm able to do so this year. So it's just been amazing, and I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you for following along. Stay safe out there in your own photography adventures and outdoor adventures. I love hearing about them. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys following along on my adventures. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.